the Northwestern Wildcats. Props to our buddies, the West Lot He's Pirates. Our, guys. our Northwestern Wildcats. Believe that. Yeah, we'll, we'll claim that now. That's right. So I understand that I'm wearing the Stanford hat right now, but understand I am on your side currently. Nine and five last year, eight and one in the conference. Just think about that, by the way. Eight and one in the conference. That's insane, right? You only played three out of conference games. Won you the got West. the Big Ten title game and lost that one. But eight and one in conference, nine and five. That means they lost to Akron last year. Lost to Akron lost and to won Duke. the division. Lost to Akron. Just unbelievable. Returning starters, they got five on offense, five on defense. Experience returning number one oh one in the country, number twelve in the conference. That is not good. The over under is six. Minus 125 to go over, plus 105 to go under. Pat Fitzgerald, 96 and 70 in 13 seasons. Can you believe he's been there 13 years? Yeah, he's been there for a long time, and I'm not worried about the lack of experience. They're not Alabama Clemson. We don't rebuild, we just reload. But they have depth on their team. Yeah. That's their guys that have been playing in this system for a while. They're not throwing a bunch of freshmen in there to start next year. No, you're right. Uh, they've got 36 wins since 2015. They've won three consecutive bowl games and their first ever division title That's right. in 2018. Now, this is what everything hinges on for me. Quarterback Hunter Johnson, five-star Clemson transfer, takes over for Clayton Thorson. He's got running back Isaiah Bowser to lean on. Bowser was an absolute surprise last year. And, and, and he, was, he was great. He was great all year. 6.24 yards per pass since 2015. This team has been the number 122 pass uh, yards per pass team in the country since 2015. That will absolutely have to change for my prediction to come true. I think Hunter Johnson brings that. Defensive end... Joe Gaziano and linebacker Patty Fisher lead the defense. Injury-riddled secondary in 2018 should be more experienced. That's the one good thing about having so many guys get hurt last year is so many guys got in on the action, right? Yeah, so they, they've got plenty of experience. Yeah, they've, they, they just weren't deemed starters. Right, and it, as far as experience, as far as production goes, no, they didn't get a ton of production in because they had to fill in in spots. That's but they right. all got game time. They all got to play. The number 100 scoring offense and the number 100 totally, uh, excuse me, number 108 total offense. They've got to improve for Northwestern to take the next step. I am of the belief that quarterback Hunter Johnson can do that. I've got him at 10 and 2 this year, 7 and 2 in the conference. The only losses I have are at Wisconsin and then at home against Iowa. The reason I say those two, right? I think that they beat Michigan State at home. The next week, lose at Wisconsin. I think Nebraska takes them lightly after Nebraska gets a win over Ohio. So then Northwestern goes and gets a win at Nebraska. They've got a bye week. Then you and I are planning on being there to watch them beat Ohio State. Friday night lights. It's yep. going to be a great game. So then they beat Ohio State, but then the very next week after that, they've got Iowa, Iowa. coming in. I think Iowa can catch them there because they could get a little... Too comfortable. And we like Iowa. Iowa's a really good team. We, yeah, Iowa's a good team. And then I think they win the remaining game. Like, listen to the back half of the schedule. At Indiana, Purdue, UMass, Minnesota, at Illinois. That's right. The The only thing they have to worry about towards the back half of the schedule is the big head. Yeah. And if they've played that well and everything's clicking. So I originally had them 9-3. and three. And we talked about this right before the pod started. Because these are our guys. And I asked you. And when you said... You went double digits. I got to go double digits. There it is. I'm with you. There I'm, it I'm, is. You, you sold me. These are our guys. We love these dudes. And they're really good. They're, Pat Fitzgerald's really good coach. Yes. I don't know if anybody knows this or not, but this is Northwestern. For some reason, we give Vanderbilt a ton of credit for being a smart kid school when they do well. And we also give Stanford a ton of credit for being nationally ranked and a smart kid school when they're playing really well. Yeah. I feel like Northwestern kind of slips through, and I don't know why, because 80% of the sports media world graduated from Northwestern. <laughs> but but anyway, I really like this team. Yeah. I think they got a lot of dudes coming back that, that, that had plenty of playing time last year. They're not going to be underclassmen. They're going to be 
older guys. Yeah. I think the schedule works out well. I, I think the schedule is Here, here's the thing. wonderful. They're going to run up against a couple of really good teams, but when they do and how they do, I think are perfect setups. Michigan State's probably one of the best defenses in the country, if not the best defense in the country this year. But they've got Michigan State coming off UNLV. You got basically two weeks to prepare for Michigan State, and Michigan State stops the run. I think they're versatile enough to throw the ball and attack them. It's what they've done the last couple of years. Michigan yeah. State's had a really good defense, and they attack them in the air. Well, I believe that they've uh, – haven't they won three straight against Michigan State? Yeah, and, yeah. and then, and they and then the same thing. They got the bye week before Ohio State, and it's one of those midweek games. You know how these home teams in the midweek games – always seem to find a way to win outright. Oh, yeah. No one ever predicts it, but it's just where it happens. We're all in on that. Those are those are big wins against big programs. Now, they open up against Stanford on the road. Uh, I just like this team more than Stanford. I was just about to say, yeah. that doesn't scare me, but I've been honest about my feelings on Stanford for a while. I, yeah. I don't know that they're great. I think they're really good. I don't know that they're great. They don't scare me at all. I can Not I can that Stanford it. can't win that game. They just don't scare me. So we both got them at ten and two, whew, and that which is nuts because the over under is six. Six. So I'm probably going to be betting that one. Oh yes. Whenever we do our video here in a couple of weeks on our favorite uh, regular season win totals, that'll probably be in there. Next up.